How beautiful is And this day, it's, great day to play ball. It's a great day for baseball. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Hiroshima, Japan. In today's video, we are going over some of the best things to see and do here in Hiroshima, and thankfully, they're all fairly within walking distance from each other. Now, some of the things that we cover in this video are going to be a little bit darker, as you would expect, but like we learned in Nagasaki, there's so much more to this city. So, before we get into all that, let's first grab a cup of coffee. Normally when we're looking for coffee shops and doing a little bit of research while planning these vlogs, we look for something that's a little bit unique or a little bit off the beaten path or something that not really everybody's talking about. But this coffee shop goes against all of that. This coffee shop is on the top of every single list or at least near the top. So, I mean, it has to be good, right? Yeah, <laughs> Trey got the dark roast and I got the light roast. So we have some, some options to try if we don't like one. That hasn't happened yet, by the way. We've gotten a lot of cups of coffee here in Japan and we haven't had about one yet. It's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try yours? Oh yeah, sure. Yours? Why not? Okay. Mine's stronger than yours. You stayed up later than I did last night, so it makes sense. I need it. I need it. Also, we've been doing shout outs for everyone that's bought us coffees through our Buy Me a Coffee page. And this video is no different. We are going to shout out Max and Ivy for buying us these excellent cups of coffee this morning. Honestly, I've been a little bit nervous because we never really know how these cups of coffees are gonna go. We're giving shout outs and we're thanking people for buying us these coffees. Just hoping we continue to like them because we've had a lot of luck when we give people shout outs that we haven't had a bad one yet. All right guys, time to jump into one of the main reasons why we're here. We're officially kicking off the day here by learning more about an event that dramatically changed humanity. On August 6, 1945, the U.S. carried out a bombing mission here in Hiroshima, dropping the first ever atomic bomb that was used ever in history. The location of the drop site was directly behind me, above this site called the Atomic Bomb Dome. The Atomic Bomb Dome has been preserved in its partially collapsed state as a solemn memorial to the tragic event and as a symbol of hope for lasting peace. It serves as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has become one of the most important destinations for visitors from around the world. The surrounding area is now known as the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, which encompasses several memorials, monuments, and museums dedicated to promoting peace, raising awareness about the atomic bombing, and advocating for nuclear disarmament. We came here originally because we knew there would be a bit more information than we had learned previously on plaques and various different sites around this area. What we didn't know is there are also testimonials and survivor stories kind of spread throughout the bushes here that we can show. It's very, it makes it a little bit more personal and it shares a lot more information than we expected. Here in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, there's also a museum dedicated to the event and the victims. I'm guessing this is going to be very similar to the one in Nagasaki, which means it's gonna be very difficult, but it's important to go to places like this.
as expected, it was a little difficult to walk through. I will say they do a great job of these museums, really just taking you through the whole story and explaining it. I tried my best to get a decent amount of footage, but a lot of it honestly would probably get us demonetized, uh, at least for this video, because it's very graphic. So if you do come to Hiroshima or if you go to Nagasaki and you go to one of those museums, then be prepared to see you know, the, the effects of the explosions of the atomic bombings in their entirety. One final place that we wanted to stop by was the Memorial Cathedral for World Peace. Constructed after the war, Memorial Cathedral of World Peace, more commonly referred to as Hiroshima Cathedral or Assumption of Mary Cathedral, was built as a tribute to the victims of the bombing and is currently the main cathedral of the Catholic Archdiocese of Hiroshima. The cathedral's architecture blends elements of both Western and Japanese design and features a combination of modernist and traditional Japanese influences with elements such as a curved roof resembling the shape of an unfolding crane, which is a symbol of peace in Japanese culture. All right guys, it's been a bit of a difficult morning exploring some of the darker sides here in Hiroshima, but there is still so much more to see. And before we get into that, I'm gonna need some food. <laughs> so we're gonna go try something very traditional here in Hiroshima. And if you're looking for something authentic and specific to Hiroshima to try, then our next spot is gonna be the place for you. So we're in a building uh, in Okonomi Mura which has a bunch of different vendors making okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is made two different ways. There's the Osaka style, which we tried in Osaka, and then there's the Hiroshima style that we're gonna try today. Now, I don't really know what to expect because we haven't had the Hiroshima style, but uh, I'm really excited to try it out. I can smell it already though, walking through here. I'm like, oh, it smells the same. <laughs> It can be kind of overwhelming walking through and seeing all of these different vendors and seeing which one is best for you to pick. We were just recommended this place, so we stopped in. We had to go grab some cash though, so that's important. If you do come here, bring cash with you. We did not, so don't be like us. But we're gonna get a few things. We're gonna try it out because this already looks very different than what we had in Osaka. <laughs> got the cheese okonomiyaki and then Hiroshima oysters, which we were told that you have to get while you're here. So we're gonna try them here because we don't know if we'll be able to get them later. And... We got them grilled too. We got them grilled, yeah. yeah. I'm so confused about these oysters. They're ginormous. I thought you weren't supposed to chew them, so I don't really know how I'm supposed to swallow that. <laughs> they aren't small. They're not small. Just drowned them in sake, so it's kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. Yes. Wow, that's icy cold. I know, right? Ah, this okonomi place. Perfect. Thank you so much. To oysters. To oysters. <laughs> They're good. They're so good. Oh, I'm excited now. I've never had I've never had oysters like this. No, me neither. Ever. I was not expecting it. <laughs> So we have these like little spatula things that they give you, little, little personal spatulas, but it's more like a knife. Or I think you cut into it like that, but immediately with that spatula. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is why I usually do this part. <laughs> it's more like a veggie style, the hash brown, the Waffle House. It's like this is just more vegetables rather than like potatoes. It's noodles and cabbage. It's really good though. Really good. Which one do you I, Hiroshima over Osaka yeah. for sure. In my opinion. After one bite. 
It is hot. I can confirm that. <laughs> this is really good. I honestly, I don't know which one I prefer more. The taste is very similar. It is very similar. And that's the most important part. We loved it. <laughs> and we split one this time, so we finished it all. Yeah. Yeah, we slammed that. We also ate it with this spicy sauce, which is super yummy. Yeah. Super duper yummy. Okay, perfect. Arigato gozaimasu. They're amazing. They're great. What a lunch experience. And, oh my gosh, the food. In my opinion, it was so much better than Osaka style. That was phenomenal. So now we need to go walk it off. And there's no better place to walk off really good okonomiyaki than Shuki and Gardens. So we're going to go check that out next. About a 15 minute walk away from where we had lunch is a place called Shukian Gardens and the pictures online look incredible of this place so I am very excited. It was 260 yen per person to come in just for the gardens. There's also an art museum that you can pay to go to if you want to um, but we're just gonna browse around the gardens. What do you think? This is crazy how many fish are in here. You yeah. can buy fish food at the front. I kind of wish we did now. I didn't know there would be this many. This park isn't too big or anything, so walking through is super nice and easy, and there's plenty of shade because while we're not here in the spring for cherry blossoms or autumn for the fall foliage, it's a beautiful place to walk around, but it's still pretty hot. <laughs> is actually incredible. Way bigger than I expected. A boat full of flowers. My dream. We could have spent more time in there, but we are running a little bit low on time. So we've got one more thing to show you before we get to the main event of tonight. And thankfully it's only about eight minutes down the road. If you're looking for the most impressive, imposing structure here in Hiroshima, then Hiroshima Castle is probably it. Originally built in the late 16th century, Hiroshima Castle served as the residence of the powerful feudal lord Mori Terumoto. The castle's architecture followed the traditional style of Japanese castles, featuring multiple stories, imposing stone walls, and a moat for defense. Tragically, the castle was destroyed during the atomic bombing. However, in the post-war period, there were concerted efforts to rebuild and restore the castle to its former glory. The reconstruction of Hiroshima Castle began in 1958 using traditional techniques and materials to replicate the original structure. We are going to go inside because A, we can't film, and B, we've got some money allocated for something else tonight. But this is a really good spot if you want really good views of the surrounding area as well. All right, we're now at the Mazda Stadium, which is the home of the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. Let's go see some baseball, hopefully, if we can get some tickets first. Ah, uh, it's amazing. You can the main gate. Main gate? Main gate. Okay. okay. Arigato gozaimasu. A little bit of background on who I was as a kid. You probably don't want to know all this information, but I'm gonna give it to you anyways. As a kid, I wanted to be one of two things, if not both. I either wanted to be a Backstreet Boy or I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Obviously, neither one of those two came to fruition, but Hannah and I love to go to baseball games together. We try to as much as we can. Like for instance, a few weeks ago when we were back in the States, we went to a Rangers game while we were in Texas. Here, we found out that the Hiroshima Toyo Carp were playing at home against the Henshin Tigers and we couldn't pass up the opportunity. Now, it was a little bit more expensive than we planned. It was 3,300 yen each, so 6,600 yen total. A little bit more than what we would normally spend on a vlogging video day. But we're gonna show you some baseball because honestly, we just couldn't pass up the opportunity. This is a 
bucket list situation for me, a Japanese baseball game, I cannot wait. So we've got our tickets, let's go inside. I'm getting a shirt. <laughs> One thing that we've learned pretty quickly while we're here is that you can't buy food with a visa or a MasterCard or anything like that. It's basically all cash or PayPay, -pay, I think is what it's called. We can pay for this with Visa here in the club shop, but any other food or drinks or anything like that, we have to pay with cash. Look at you! Me and Coach. You look like a super fan. Look at that. How beautiful is this stadium and this day? It's, great day to play ball. It's a great day for baseball. There are a couple things about this stadium that I'm already super duper impressed with. One, it's right next to the train station, so it's really aesthetically pleasing because you have trains going back and forth in the background, like when you're looking at towards the outfield, super cool. Two, you can bring basically whatever you want inside as long as it's not in a plastic glass, uh, I think that's it. As long as it's not in a plastic or glass bottle, that includes food, that includes beer, that includes juice, like water, whatever you want. This is a great stadium, and honestly, the food and everything is pretty decently priced. We just don't have a lot of yen. <laughs> so this is, this is overall very, very impressive so far. So the good thing about these seats is that we're really close to the field. These were the only two that we could really buy. And so we've got really good seats. Only problem is that the netting, like the protection netting, doesn't really come uh, around our way. So we are right in the line of fire. If there's a line drive hit over our way. You might catch it. Yeah, or it just might hit us. <laughs> might just not catch it. One difference so far, the team appears to have a band and the rivalry team is up here. Or rivalry, the other team, the opposing, the opposing team. team. I love sports. The opposing team band is behind us, so we're kind of hearing both of them right now. part about this experience is all of the things that are different like there's different kinds of food there's different chants they're playing kind of differently right Trey? Like, yeah their forms very different they bang these little things together they're like little miniature bats they bang them together instead of clapping and everyone has one they also let balloons go at the end of the night this is a perfect night for baseball if you're ever in hiroshima Definitely come out, definitely take in a game if you're here during the summer. We're gonna wrap things up here. It's been a crazy day, it's been a long day, and we got a long ride home because we're going back to Osaka. So stay tuned for our next video. We'll see you in a few days. If anyone knows what they're saying, please let me know. I've been making up my own chance. <laughs>